way home. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Well, anyone's on, so get that thing out of here. There's some shells. Is Riley gonna be up there? Yeah, we're meeting him at the long branch. Should I put one of these on the gun? Yeah. Bayonet. Scott's got enough salsa for the apocalypse. War beats about a crate of these a month right here. These guys were all shot off the 15 acre property that we're gonna be hunting. Mom shot that one there, like probably 2009 ish maybe. And then those are a couple of my dads there. But that one my dad shot with the bow, the rest of them are all gun season bucks. So hopefully we can knock another one down this weekend. Let's go shoot this gun. How far is that? 100 yards. 100? 100. Deer camp 2019. Parents are packing up. We're gonna meet my brother up there. And I'm just shooting my rifle, making sure she's on. Looks like I might have to make a couple minor adjustments here. Had a lot of questions last year on what kind of guns we were shooting. Um, I'm shooting a 30 out 6. It's a Woodmaster Model 742, semi-automatic with a five bullet clip. Looks like I'm just a little high. We'll go back, move her down a few clicks, see if we can get her in the red. There we go. Let's go to deer camp. What up? Um. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I am coming up for sure, but I might come up tonight actually. So I'm just kind of getting my stuff together in case. You think this is your year? Well, actually I hope it's Jim's year. I really do. It's pretty selfless of you. Is Dada gonna get a buck? No. Say buck. No, Dada. No. Yep, Dada, say buck. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> buck, 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 See you later, kids. Bye. 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 Yep, all right. I'm back in Wisconsin for one of my favorite or my favorite nine days of the year, basically. And I was gonna say one of my favorite weekends, but the whole nine days is always really fun. And in Wisconsin, opening weekend is a tradition. Basically, it's comparable to Christmas or the holidays, I guess. Families migrate north or to wherever their hunting camp is and just get together with the same family and friends every year, at least most of the people I know. And what my family does, we go up to the trailer home on our 14 or 15 acres that my grandpa bought a long time ago. Small property, but we've done pretty well up there on that small property for the last 10, 20 years. Ever since I've been hunting, it seemed like it's really good hunting to me. So always get to see some deer and usually somebody gets a chance at a nice buck. So hopefully this weekend is just like that. Last year, me and my brother kind of had a chance. You can check that video out on the channel. We had a nice buck come by. Ended up stepping on the neighbors. They shot at it and ran, ran to the other neighbor. Other neighbor ended up shooting it. But aside from the hunting, my favorite thing that we always do is we go up there the night before season. We always go to the Long Branch Saloon up there, meet with a couple of our other buddies. My buddy Riley will be there, I think. And we just share stories from basically this bow hunting season, tell stories from the past, and just catch up with one another. So I'm excited about it. It's always real fun. My mom's going to join us either tomorrow or this afternoon, and I'm going to head out, I think. Okay. See you later. Bye. 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 I was awake so much last night. I was Signature too. inside the box for me, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Our bottom out back there. Mm -hmm. Did you go get up in the stand and watch it all? I heard a couple after dark here. A couple back here. Yeah. You see if this fits you. You want me to wear this down to the tavern? Sure. I need a bigger size. My, my belly will hang out on them. He's an extra large. That, Squeeze no, in, buddy. This will fit me. Put around one so see how big your muscles look. Well, then I gotta look real big. But <laughs> You look pretty buff. Yeah. 
I don't do public. <laughs> There's our power. There's mouse treads on this bed or the back one? Underneath the mattress in there. I took the mattress out and put it on the brush burn pile. And then I took one of the mattresses that were in the back and put it on there and made my nest. Got some mouse houses here in the back. I kind of think that it was. Looks like the floor is starting to come apart. And so is the ceiling. I don't know how many years this place has left in her. It's falling apart back here. Huh? It's falling apart back here. <laughs> yeah. That bunk bed back, back there is, was mine when I was a kid. Are we heading out? I guess so. Alright, we just stopped at the trailer home down there. Dropped some stuff off. We're gonna head up to the restaurant that we usually go to here and meet up with my brother's gonna be there my mom's gonna be there eventually I think and then my buddy Riley and a couple other people so I'm gonna head down there probably get some fish and some drinks and uh, do some catching up you gonna get your name in the gun one for what for what <laughs> You're not planning on shooting one tomorrow? I was going to let you shoot it. No, I got to film. You better get in it. I'm feeling pretty good about it tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I probably will have to. I guess for $3, what's the worst thing that can happen? You win. Come on, buddy. Easy. Get it out of here. What is it? <laughs> No, I don't have any pictures, but the guy who wants a 50 next to us ain't up here yet, and I think it's because it's too wet. So he might not hunt, and that's where those bucks usually bat along the river, you know? I'm hunting that pine ridge in the back there that nobody's even been at yet. We'll see what happens. Right there. That's him. That's him. What was that? Is that tomorrow's victim? It might be. <laughs> that might be Kalen's name though. We're getting naughty tomorrow. We all are, I think. I think we're all gonna get naughty tomorrow. There's gonna be some lead fine. You know how to clean one? Riley, you're probably know how to clean it here. Don't clean it until we get there. <laughs> We gotta watch. Well, yeah, he's not gonna do it by himself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ye
Right there, Jim. Go right behind the bush. He went. I think he fell. He tipped over, didn't he? I think so. Just stay on. Make sure that wasn't in that rain. Pretty sure he fell. I thought so too. Oh, he's right there still. Can you see him? He's down. Is his head up? No, he's just kick. It was just grass kicking. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, real. Is he pretty nice? I don't know. I, I just seen dark horns. He looked like he's nice. He's dead, I know that. I just see from the neck, like the neck up, I just put it down in the grass and yeah. I knew it was going to bust through there. Yeah. You had to shoot then because that doe. That toes, she's seen us yeah. for sure. Could you see him or not? Maybe, I don't really care. Where was he when you shot? Right. The grass, just where that branch comes down there. Yeah. Just to the left of that. Yeah, he might have been just behind the tree for me. Taller, taller grass. Yeah. So I could just see from the neck. Unreal. That's how fast it can change. That I was, know. That was so fast. Well, you'd think you'd hear him coming from a mile away this morning, but also. But I honestly, I thought I heard something like rubbing a tree or something over there. And I heard a grunt, and it could have been over there. And we could hear a deer over there all morning. He wasn't chasing, he's just. just I'm sure. I mean. To be with They've got a bunch of scent from people for based off the direction that they're coming. Oh, yeah, the wind is coming across the marsh, so they're just following through there. Just mm -hmm. to, dude, that was yeah, unreal. I can't believe that. <laughs> I do. I kind of figured that second deer was going to be a buck, mm -hmm. and I seen the dark horns, and I was like, oh god. <laughs> and I didn't. I, I, I don't know. I have any really idea how big he was, but I know he had a decently decent rack on his head, and that's all. That's all I really care about. <laughs> 51. Sherry's calling. Hello. What's up? Did you see him? No, what? It was a buck. Where? Straight east of us. Came in with a doe. Awesome. Good job. I, I think we didn't see him. We we think we've seen him fall, but okay. I don't know, it's hard to see. I'll, I'll watch. Alright. Good luck. Thanks. Yep, bye. Right. <laughs> No, I suppose I gotta take that camera for you. <laughs> I 
guess I don't really care at this point. <laughs> That's all you could hope for there is oh, yeah. one. I would say I apologize for the footage, but I really don't. Like, I don't know if I got anything, but that dough was turning yeah, to go away. That was going to be the end. I mean, I mean, we'll be lucky to get any sort of good footage during gun season because it always just I mean, it, it happens just like that every time. I mean, that was slow compared to yeah, how it usually happens. Usually, really. they're, usually they're running. It happens faster than the rut, like every time, just because deer are always getting pushed. But I think they're probably just moving away from where all the human scent was. You know what I mean? Yeah, like because there's people, there's people lined up yeah, on the other people side of that marsh. In the stretch. One right across here, the wind yeah. blowing across. People, I mean, we saw four-wheelers and stuff coming in from over there, and their wind would have been blowing right where those two were coming from. It happens the same every year. They just follow this marsh. Seven o'clock. Jim just shot one, what, probably five, ten minutes ago. We could hear deer over that direction the whole morning, kind of. And then they didn't move for quite a while, or we couldn't hear him moving because it didn't sound like they were too far away. He's trying to figure out the camera now because that's what he's going to do the rest of the day, I guess. You could hear him coming through the red brush. They just follow that red brush line right along. They, like you said, it was quiet for a while. There's a close shot. We did hear something in the water up there at one point, too. Could have been them. All of a sudden, like, you could hear, like, steady pace walking. So we both turned. We could both hear it about the same time, I think. And Doe popped out, like, 50 yards away right behind the red brush. And she pretty much looked straight up at us right away. Our wind was good, but she could see us kind of shift in that direction still. They got, they snuck in on us pretty good. Which is surprising, because it's so calm out. We figured we'd be able to hear them coming from a ways away. Hopefully we got one buck down. We'll probably wait till mid-morning, midday, to go down and look, make sure he's down over there, wait for everybody to get out of the woods, wait for all the deer to kind of settle in for the day. Generally, everybody leaves their stand, goes back, gets lunch. Generally, our neighbors do at least. It seems like we hear them drive off in their four-wheelers or see them walking out. But So we just sit all day. I think we're both pretty sure that he's down. It looked like he was falling when I last saw him there, and I think Jim saw him crashing around out in the weeds there, so we're on the board. Actually, when me and Dad came out to trim, there was three does laying right underneath the stand here yeah. in this patch of red brush. So, I mean, we were right in their bedroom pretty much. Yeah, they they she could have been coming to lay down right here. But this property has always been really good during gun season, especially. We don't, we don't typically do great during bow season here, but during gun season, it's just in the middle of the block. And it seems like all that pressure from the neighbors, it's just like everybody's doing a mini deer drive, not on purpose, they're just accessing their stand from the road. We come in from the canoe and just by accessing, all, everybody's walking towards us basically. So we get movement from every direction at all times during the day. Our property line to, to the south is just basically the transition of the marsh where it's too wet or where they don't really like to travel. It's basically the high ground where the deer just follow. It's an old riverbed, basically anywhere you can see trees out in front of us. Obviously that means there's high ground. It's, it's dry enough for trees to grow. And then on past it, it's just wetland marsh where it's just cattails growing. So the deer don't really like to travel through that unless they really get pushed hard. They bed and just travel along this old riverbed, but it, basically all the neighbor's wind is blowing towards where most of the deer are going to be so that could have been exactly what just happened with those deer moving in on us they were walking straight with the wind at their back but that could have been because we have a neighbor that's sitting probably 200 yards 300 yards up that way and they definitely could have got his scent turned around and started sneaking our way they were moving slow and kind of on edge which makes me think that they definitely had somebody sent up in that direction we got three other tags just in our family alone so good deal it's a good start it looked like a nice one to me <laughs> I shot smaller <laughs> for sure big buck is it we'll find out here in a minute what the fuck I don't know it's a big deer It's hard to tell what it is. Hear that? Nice. Got You couldn't tell what it was. 
know. Was a buck. It was? Yeah, I don't know how big though. And way it worked. Here he comes. Yeah, he's chasing a Del Grunt. Sounds like they might be coming. Yeah. Yeah, right here's the deer. I see him right here. It's a tool, ain't it? Yeah, there's gotta be a buck though. Another deer behind him. I just see two does. You see a buck? I don't know. Another one coming. and we just had six does come down right in front of us here. Could hear them breaking through the ice so we got ready. I think what happened was they got downwind of our neighbor and they came down and walked past us but could hear them first then we could hear grunting and sound like some trotting going on some chasing maybe. So we got pretty excited for a while there we weren't sure what was coming we knew it was a buck. The deer just kept piling out one doe after another and then eventually the four pointer whatever he was popped out and that was the only buck that was with him but like I said though earlier all of the neighbors sent blowing towards us is definitely an advantage I think I think those deer definitely based off what we could hear were walking his direction and then basically when they got downwind of them they turned to come our way in there we're acting kind of nervous the doves were at least the buck was just still kind of dumbing around chasing them and grunting and stuff but people are starting to get down and move around now our neighbor he got down out of his stand and looked like he got a deer. He drug it out the four-wheeler over there. So but we're going to wait another hour, hour and a half here, and then maybe get down and go take a look, see if see if there's a dead deer laying down there or not. I think there probably is. All right, it's about 11.30. All the neighbors have got down. No other deer came moving through. So I think my dad's going to get down out of that stand, come over here hop up in this stand and me and my brother are going to go down there and uh, go check out that buck. Like I said, we both think he's down, just not sure. And that's why we want my dad to come get in this stand too. That way if we would happen to jump him up and he's wounded or something, my dad can get a shot at him. He'll be up here elevated and uh, he's getting down now so should be over here in a couple minutes. See something get up when we go over there. Yeah. Um, it's a doe, a big doe, and then I shoot it in that little buck, maybe. I don't know. It's a good thing you got those lanes, because otherwise, my dad shot at that one this morning. Yeah, you couldn't see much without those lanes cutting. Yeah, those were the last ones I cut. <laughs>
bigger than you thought? Yeah, I didn't think he was that big. I didn't think he was that big either. God, I was a little nervous there walking around. <laughs> it's so hard in this grass. Oh, yeah, I can walk on. And I think he tipped over probably somewhere up there, but... Yeah. Right, right, in, the, right, behind, right in the shoulder. And okay. Kind of fun when it's a mystery what you don't know how to walk up to. <laughs> That's how I usually am. I just... I say they're good enough and then I don't look at them anymore. Scott wants to see it. I get to help me drag one of my books <laughs> this time. I think this time, biggest one you probably have a shot, isn't it? Yeah. Gets a canoe ride. Yep, free ride on here. <laughs> I wasn't walking up there expecting this. He'll do just fine. Awesome. Let's get some nice broad time button. Oh, the fun part begins. Yeah. Right, this is probably one of the easier drags we've ever had out of here. Yeah. <laughs> on this property at least. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so usually they're way out in the marsh and the wet. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about this one. We won't even have to get that wet getting out of here. So you don't realize how out of shape you are until your drag went out. Yeah, I got to film on them as that help. You shot that one? I just shot him. I set this one to Kinsley Bird. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> one, two, three. for day one went out and sat with dad this afternoon in the same spot and uh, had some action had some does come in on us and he was thinking about shooting one then he couldn't decide and sat there and thought about it for too long and they ended up getting off I think they either saw us or smelled us or they smelled where that deer was dead today but then throughout the night we could just hear deer walking through the water breaking through ice and stuff like that, but never did uh, put eyes on anything else. But all in all, real solid opening day. Got to film one get shot, and uh, probably one of my brother's bigger bucks that he shot. He's pretty tickled, we're all pretty tickled. Anytime anybody in the family knocks something down in camp, it's a good deal, it's a good time. Even if we don't, I guess it's always a good time, but we're gonna canoe back across the river here, get this deer hung up, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Killer. You're sure not. Dad couldn't decide if you wanted to shoot that doe or not. Shouldn't have asked, no questions. Then he was moving all around. Huh? Then, he, then you were moving all around. Oh, I'm done for. You had a hard day? Yeah, I got a headache from my eyes looking so hard. <laughs> Killer. He's a keeper. Yeah. Yeah, he's more than I thought he was. <laughs> nice job. Congratulations.